as you can see the uh, the lot that we cleared off a couple weekends ago this, all the snow has gone now uh, and the stumps that were once snow level are now uh, quite high so I'm gonna cut off some of these stumps here now and uh, maybe start you know start picking up the ground a bit I gotta try to clear this with my tractor but uh, of course I'm suspecting that the frost is still right in the top of the ground here so I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do quite yet by rights I need a backhoe and I'm working on that cutting off like uh, close to the ground but leaving a little bit of a stump there I've never done this before with a tractor but I'm thinking that if you leave a little bit of that stump there you might be able to root it out better pardon the pun dead joke here we go it didn't take long nice little uh, pile of firewood that uh, come in handy next winter now you know so I'm getting that back to the cabin don't you right there Now, you know, I easily could have went and got my truck and got that wood, but come on now, I own a tractor. Now, in order for me to access this uh, piece of land here, it's a bit of a high knob here, so I think this is a bit lower here. I'm gonna try my bucket in here, try to scrape that out, kind of level it off so I can get in there, and just see what I can do, you know, with that bucket. Uh, again, the frost is in the ground. I don't really expect to be that successful, but you don't know till you try, and I've never done it before, so uh, let's give it a shot. And by the way, a lot of you guys said this tractor needs a name, and I think it does too. You got one for me? It's a TYM. Ah, uh, throw one out there like the yard monster. Let me know what you think. A good name for it. And if I get a real good name for it, eh, maybe I'll throw in a mug or something to the person who suggests it. can there Pepsi country right around the bottom there severely underestimated the power on that machine. I never dreamt that she would take that mound, which is pretty much all frost and ice, you know, and she's, it's like it's not even fizzing on her. I'm just trying to take it easy because I'm a little scared to be quite honest with you. I've never done it before. You know, now we're going to start getting into the stumps pretty soon here. So I know I'm going to clear this and 
I don't know, see what how she reacts to the stumps. to uh, fall around with it a bit there but I think that the trick was to like I left that little bit of stump there that you could press against it haul back on it and then I put the bucket down and under the root and kind of lift it up like that and it popped it right out now this is all frozen ground like rock hard too so I suspect when it gets a bit warmer now it might be easier but I can see that truck porter needs a backhoe for that yep Look at that guys look she pushed it all in there stumps roots like smaller stumps like that she just kind of picked them up and go on now i suspect that like that big one there i'm gonna have to pick at that one for a bit and maybe i'll even wait until i uh, hopefully get a, a back of attachment now i gotta figure out like where i'm gonna place all this stuff i'm gonna lug all this away eventually but for the time being i gotta put it somewhere anyway i'm gonna have a cup of tea now celebration what do you think? A cup of tea, a little snack? Huh? You're up for that, aren't you? Let's pick up that big butt. Some ptarmigan soup here today. There's one ptarmigan breast there. Pretty good at washing dishes. Well, I must say, I'm really impressed with what's going on here today i just came down to kind of have a look at the land and maybe pick at it a little bit you know but to see what capacity and and strength that this tractor got for me you know i'm going to have this land possibly even cleared today and as soon as i get this the quicker i get this land cleared and leveled off then i can move my old cabin to here and then i can start concentrating on my new log cabin of course it was definitely a strange feeling, you know, because um, I've never been here before like this. There's a lot of newness, and uh, sometimes uh, you least expect it, you know. There's, there's something comes along, and like this experience, the whole experience I'm going to go through now, and it uh, is really just really rewarding, you know. It, uh, it feels good. It's hard to explain, but it just puts you in a good place, you know. You like ptarmigan soup? Yeah? Anyway guys, that's where I am with the off-grid cabin uh, build. Uh, I'll keep popping up some videos along the way to keep you guys in the loop. I'm going out of town for a bit of a holiday in the next week or so, so you won't see a video for a little bit. I'm gonna keep cracking at the ground here. I'll show you a few clips as I sign off here. So until the next video, guys, take care of each other. Get outside and enjoy everything outdoors. We'll see you next time, guaranteed.